do 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 Mousy Mars. Hey guys, it's Mousy Mars here, and uh, today we're back with another episode. And as you can see, I've been doing a lot of Thorncraft stuff. I've actually got some more stuff to do in here. The I've got the, all of these from the bags that I get over there. I might be able to get this one now, actually. Nope. Okay. Not yet. I've uh, I've actually been doing a whole bunch of research. So. Obviously, we've had this first tab completed for a while. I've went ahead and trying to complete this second one. I flew around everywhere. It sucks, but hey. Um, so, I've basically... I want to get into this arcane infusion stuff. It's not in this tab. But I want to be able to make a silverwood one core. Which is quite easy. Uh, to be able to make the... Um, I think it's the silverwood star. No. No, it's not that. It's the... I, I don't think I can see it until I unlock the Thormic caps. But basically, it's the Thormic one with the silver wood and two Thormic caps. Um, and I'll probably... Oh! Did I not already have that research? It's in the table, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, I guess we'll get rid of that. Whoopsie. Um, there's actually upgraded Thormic caps. Oh, I can show you them on the silver. So basically, you then throw in with two Solus Mundes. Which is just balance shard, smelted, okay, uh, and then you get this uh, kind of charged one, and it's better. Um, I've completed the alchemy tab. Now I wasn't actually going to buy all these, but I managed to get a load of auto, so I just decided to do it. Um, yeah, I've unlocked all of the Estelle, uh distillation stuff, which we really need to get going. Um, I think I'm going to wait till we move out to our new place which we should be doing this episode I just need to prepare a whole bunch of stuff and I need to get a load of generators and stuff so that we can start doing some stuff guys we have more stuff to buy <laughs> yes more stuff oh I love this so they're pretty cool um and yeah I think I think we should probably go, oh yeah, this thing, the fizz storage is awesome, so, you know those shitty mundane amulet things, right? We can now make this thing, and it allows us to store, uh, how much viz? It doesn't say. 250 of every single one. Um, just by wearing it, and it's really cheap as well. You know what, just before I go, I'm just going to show you how I actually get all of my gold, because um, you may notice I have blocks of it, well... <laughs> Those Thorncraft bags give you a lot of these gold coins. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of them. Um, yeah, this is literally filled up all my bags full of them. Um, and then when you smelt these gold coins, by the way, these bags were full as well. Uh, when you smelt them, you actually get gold nuggets out, which I then use to go ahead and make myself stuff also. Quarry's done now by the look of it, so uh, yeah, I need to upgrade this barrel again. Don't know about the other ones, but it's it's done. Hey guys, just thought I'd give you a little process update because I I mean pro, pro progress update since I never do um kind of show you guys me crafting everything. Um, so I actually did start making the solar panels, then I realised that you need this machine and it's super super expensive to get it, so we're not going to get into that yet. Um, I'm currently doing a load of iron and tin and glass because, oh hang on, what else? Yeah, just iron. And these empty cells, which, oh that is way too many, um, which I need to make these, these generators here. Now I'm going to make 32. Uh, so obviously 32 times 32 uh, gives me what thousand I think Yeah, 1024 EU per tick is what we should be roughly producing once this is all done uh, And then we also need a way to actually pump the um, Basically down here you may know the Ciceros oil uh, which we have two barrels off which will give us a fair amount of how but we need to keep this consistent now We can use this biofuel um, but we'll need to set up a bigger tree farm if we're going to get loads and loads of saplings to throw into that. So I've been thinking of the best way to do the biofuel. And I was thinking for quite some time, you know, what, what would be the best. Um, 
then I realized you can just go ahead and throw bone meal in there. So I, I went ahead, <laughs> I put cursed earth down here to get a bunch of bones, but what I think I might do is go ahead and throw in another MFR spawner in here. Put some curves thus on the floor uh, so we have enough stuff to power it. Just above this one here, we'll have another one. Uh, and then we'll have two, and then one of them will be skeletons, uh, so we get bones, and then that will power our stuff. Um, now, I'm not sure if we can melt down ender pearls and use liquid ender, so I'm going to have to play around with that in creative, I mean, uh, you know, single player. Um, and, and see if that kind of works. Okay guys, so I've now got everything we need, and yes, I know it's a lot of stuff. Uh, I've got my MFSU, I've got my 32 semi-fluids, I've got all of this, I've got coke furnaces at the base, and all this other stuff. I'm actually in the UU matter age. Uh, as you can see, we have a massive load of uh, UU matter here. There is some negative effects, we've got mining fatigue and stuff. But you know what? I don't care. Because we have all of this free UU matter. And look, it is just perfect. Oh, look at the UU matter. Oh, man. I can't even believe I found this age. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, stand right on this here obsidian, place down some of these lime blocks I just mined. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves one of these pressurized fluid conduits. We're going to fly off a little bit. We are going to place this right there. Come on, go down. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go and place one of those. Uh, now we do need to get power over here. So, uh, Tesseract, uh, owner only. And we are going to send energy and no hang on no we're going to receive energy and send fluid uh, I was going to use these ender tanks hmm do I want to use the tesseract you know what I've set it up so I can use the tesseract if I want to but if not I will just be able to use my uh, my guy there perfect and <laughs> we're getting you you better Oh yes, this is the best setup ever. I'm gonna set a waypoint right there. <laughs> I feel so cheaty doing this, but then I realise that it's not really okay. Uh, so let me show you these cool coke furnaces. This is what's going to give us that citrus oil. I've got five of them. Uh, I'll probably do one more. Actually, no, five's enough actually. And what you do is you put coal in here, and it will give you cool coke and 500 millibuckets of this stuff, um, the uh, citrus oil, and then that's what's going to power these semi-fluids. Uh, we have uh, we'll be producing about a thousand RF per tick, and then I'll be using a high voltage transformer to turn it into 8,192 per tick. I probably. If not, I'll just make it all be 2048 EU per tick, but yeah. Okay guys, look, here it is. You can look at it in all its glory. This is where we will be building our base. Now, I know what you're thinking, this this is a bit rubbishy, you know? But um, it's not, it's really not. It's amazing around here. If it would even load in. Let's see if we can just... Is it F3A? Wow, okay, it's loading pretty slow here. But um, it's, it's a fantastic area, and what I want to do is replace all of this here on top with all grass, so we have grass everywhere. Um, so basically we don't see any stone anywhere up, up the top there. And then, yeah, that's basically what I want to do, and then build our base kind of like a dwarven mine in the side of this mountain here. Like all with paths running around and stuff, we can do some stuff here, have the main entrance there. I think it'd be fantastic. And then up here, I was thinking of having like a little Thorncraft area. Thorncraft and Britannia bits here. Um, you know, with the infusion altar here and stuff, make it all mystical. Obviously, inside we'll have an auto crafted, auto crafting version of it. But um, yeah, that was my little idea. Anyway, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started on making all of these generators and placing them all out. So I'm going to do that right here. 
just going to clear this area a bit and uh, get started on this. So um, what we're going to do is going to place down the 32 generators opposite the coke furnaces, I think. That will probably be best. Um, and then we'll go from there, really. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of this because, I mean, it's, it's quite boring to uh, watch me and mine in this lag and stuff. I'm not actually lagging, it's 30 FPS right now which is what you guys are actually watching the video in. This pick is actually insta break by the way, I'm clicking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this all and um, I'll, I'll be right back. In case you're wondering, this is the bag of stuff that I've got and this is all for the um, the cobble generator. I actually have to grab a bucket of lava, there's lava just there luckily. So yeah, I'll, I'll do this and uh, I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, we're back, and I have a massive progress update for you guys. Sorry about all the cuts in this video, by the way, but they're kind of needed. So, um, to be able to convert our kind of citrus oil over, I think we need to use these refineries um, so that we can use them. I did try and use it, uh, and I realized you need the refinery. So I've made five of them. I'm actually going to make one more, I think. Because How do I make these? Diamond gear. Uh, I made up a bunch of those diamond gears. You know what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make three more so we have nine of these things. We really want to kind of push getting all of this stuff. So, um, if we. Where is it? Oh, yeah, we need to make the tanks. I forgot about that bit. Eh. I've got plenty of resources. Alright, one, two. Uh, need one more tank. Do we have enough? I think we do. Yep, okay. Recipe, oh, recipe, perfect, we, we now have it, so we'll throw them back in there, I made up some more conjure, and IT dude, oh sorry, called Shepard, as he's known now, gave me some, <laughs> gave me some more iridium, so we can add that to our little bag, um, I did actually have four more iridium, but I used them to make this uh, reinforced iridium plate before I realised how expensive those solars were, uh, and I've also made a, a little never hub area. This book actually works, the interlinking, but the cliff place back here um, for interlinking didn't quite work. So I've made this little kind of hub, and it's just above my new never pump, which I haven't shown you yet. This is what it looks like. It's all fancy. Okay, done. Um, so this here page farm, uh, we've been in, I think, uh, but this is the cliff place. So, yeah, um, this is what I've done. So... <laughs> We'll start in here. In here is the cool coke furnaces. So they are all making the citrus oil for us. You can see they're all done. They're all full and it's just all just conduit here. And then over here we have two drums for a buffer. And then this guy. This chest is basically whenever I throw coal into one of my furnaces, cool ore into one of my furnaces, it throws it into this chest automatically. And we have a whole bunch of coal that can be converted over. And that's our setup for the citrus oil generation. And then over here we've got all of our generators. I may end up making nine more of them. This is 33 of them, by the way, in case you're wondering. We did have another one spare after I made the 32, so I just went ahead and threw them all here, three high. And then we got similar setup to a back at spawn. We have the gold behind it, and then the citrus oil kind of coming down on each side. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and take this guy right here. Oh, don't cut off the cable. Um, and we're going to do the refinery bit over here, I think. Um, so then over here, we, the cable just comes around, goes into a transformer, so that we can make ourselves uh, set down 2048 EU packets uh, coming out from over there into the glass fiber. Now obviously once we get all of this upgraded um, to the higher you know, capacities, that's when this glass fiber is going to be able to be used. But this gold is only uh, 512 EU per tick, I believe. So um, it's basically just going to make all the packets into one packet. That's what that's doing. Because obviously we produce about a thousand or so here. So yeah. Um, We've got the recycler there, which is just pumping cobblestone from this little cobble gen. I'll explain it. So you put water one side, you put the lava the other side, you use one of these item transfer nodes. Make sure you guys place down the cobble first in between them, by the way. You use one of these guys, and basically it's a lagless cobble gen. Uh, I've made one of these up 
64 of these scenes, they're really expensive on the iron. Um, I made them inside the project table, so it's really easy. I uh, made some of these kind of upgrades here, the speed ones. I made two stacks of them, so it goes really quickly. Fills this double chest really fast. And we'll probably do singularities here as well once we get to AE, and then it just pipes it in to here, um, the recycler. I was thinking of just doing one of these guys, but because I think if we... Um, Obviously, we want this to be really quick, so I think we're just going to forget about Ender I.O. for a second. Go ahead and do that. Take one of these stack upgrades out. Go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, we need to make some stack upgrades. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I'll do that later. Anyway, um, so we've got the recycler there, but that creates our scrap. Then we'll pipe it over here into our mass fabricator. I should probably move the mass fabricator, actually. Let's do that. Let's move this mass fabricator. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw it above the... Uh... Oh, no. I broke my mass fabricator. That means I'm going to have to remake the mass fabricator. I'll, I'll put it up here once I've remade it, and then we'll just have an ejection upgrade that injects into it. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll put a um, one of our ender tanks above it for the UU matter. So over here, this is how this stuff works. We're going to have to make another ender tank, actually, for UU matter. So we have one there, one here. Um, and then this here takes UU matter in. You put select the iridium pattern, which we can actually scan in. Oh, no, we can't yet. But once we scan that in, I need to make the crystal as well. And then we put it inside pattern storage, and then we can replicate the iridium, which is perfect. Um, so as for this refinery, I'm going to do this bit on camera because I've done quite a bit off camera and I feel like you guys are missing out on something. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six of them for now, I think. Actually, you know what? I'll just I'll just do one uh, to show you and then I'll do the rest off camera because I don't really want to make the video too long because I've looked at how much I've recorded and I'm getting worried. Um, so let's go ahead and get the citrus oil going from, let's say, right there. Um, you know what, I'll turn this sideways so that we can access the uh, the lock that's on it. Um, go ahead and throw this piping here. And I'm going to bring that over there as well. So then we'll do extract on this guy. Uh, and then insert... No, we're not going to insert. Hmm. Um, well, I brought my test rack for power as well over here. So let's go ahead. Um, oh, none, none. Receiving energy. Uh, owner only RF power. Um, get some of this conduit here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Maybe we've got to insert this stuff from the top or something. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, hang on. Let's get our wrench. Go ahead and connect that. No, not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna look into this, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So as it turns out. These generators don't accept this oil. These refineries don't accept this oil. And in actual fact, we can't use this oil <laughs> to generate any power for IC2. Um, <laughs> uh, I've done some Googling. It's actually the Greg Tech semi fluid generator that takes this oil, not the IC2 one, um, which I had originally thought, but I haven't used this setup since then, so... <laughs> um, that's kind of sucky. Um, so, when we're first powering these guys without the bone mill, I'm going to grab a load of Autumn's saplings here, because this is our massive kind of farm that he's got going. It's not really everyone's, it's his farm, but uh, he lets us take, literally, as much as we need because clearly he has way too much of it um so i'm gonna go ahead and fill my bags up hey guys so um turns out i don't need biofuel generators <laughs> um 
Um, I don't need biofuel generators. No, 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 no. Um, I need the things that make biofuel. Um, <laughs> and I, oh, I can't believe I done that. I need these uh, bio reactor thingies, I think. And I've made myself what 18, 18 of these plus the two I already had. So I made the wrong things. Make sure you guys do not do this. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I finally made up all these bioreactors, which is what we actually need. And luckily, Autumn is letting us use saplings. So I've set up an ender chest to his farm. He's got like 2,000 stacks of them. So luckily, he's going to allow us to use his saplings in these things. The bone mill does not work anymore. Uh, that was patched, according to Autumn, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey... I'm going to rebuild that block. And also, I remade the mass fabricator, I think. Yeah, I did. Okay. Plop. Mass fabricator. Put in scrap boxes. I need to make an ejection upgrade for this guy. Blow him. Okay, perfect. I'm not sure if any... I don't think... None of these machines need uh, upgrades uh, for the transformer, so that's fine. I think maybe the recycler might, but I'm not even going to care. These guys, I do want to use this void pipe um, just down here. Just to kind of void out any excess liquid that we might have here. Um, so we'll make sure that's all pumping in there. And then we'll take a pressurized tube off the top of this guy right here. And we'll kind of bring, bring that over here. I guess this is the possibly worst way I could do this but um oh well there we go done so now any all of this all of the stuff we generate here will just go straight into this tank um and you know what I I think because we did we set up a tesseract over in the other uh, world we need to kind of oh insert we need to set up our drums and stuff here. So we'll take our two drums and we'll put them in line with this stuff. So throw a drum right there. Um, boom. Extract. Yes. And then we'll do another one like on the corner, I guess. Uh, so we'll do insert here and extract here. Extract. And then we will set up a tesseract. Um, tesseract. And we will place you down. Hmm. Oh, that needs to be insert mode. Insert. Uh, we'll place this guy down. It's getting a bit messy now, isn't it? Uh, uh, we should definitely be able to get a lot of iridium for next episode next episode i do want to get started into applied energistics and getting our base kind of started over here so it will be a buildy episode probably do a time lapse we shall see uh and we'll definitely definitely be getting into i uh what is it called a2 um even if we don't build our base i think i might make a start on building the tunnels and stuff like that and the rooms um we shall I, I will get this done, not we, I. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good time not watching my episodes. All right, see you guys.